Revolut had quite a big success here in Romania uh, in the last few months. How do you explain the growth in the Romanian market? Mm, kind of nice surprise for us as well because it appeared uh, seemed like from nowhere, uh, right? Because we, we grew in some other markets before, and then just last year the growth in in Romania was uh, uh, exponential and. Uh, Looks like there are, there are a few things contributing to, to it. Uh, the, the team uh, of, in, in Romania here, the Revolut team who, who are working on uh, uh, localizing the products, uh, marketing it, etc. Uh, so that definitely uh, added a lot to, to the success. Plus, it looks like this uh, good timing uh, and and. Uh, market fit because uh, Romania doesn't seem to be uh, the financial sector in Romania doesn't seem to be disrupted yet. And, uh, there are no any similar players on the market, so that's why Revolut came in naturally yeah, as, as a first choice. Uh, so as, as an alternative to, to traditional banks, right? Uh, seems to be very natural. It's like it seems like there is a problem, and we came as a solution. So, so it's, it's good that we can solve this problem. Another, another factor to, to the success is Romania has a unique currency. Right? And even just within Europe, having unique currency in, in this uh, shared economy right, uh, has this, it's this friction to people, right? Whenever people you know, go to work ab uh, ab abroad, like to neighboring countries, right? There's a lot of different currency, euro or something else. So Revolut again comes as, as a natural solution to, to this problem. This is where, where we started from, solving multi-currency problem. When will uh, the Romanian users have access to overdrafts and loans on Revolut? When? Uh, uh, when so this uh, will depend on when we uh, are going to roll out our European bank banking license uh, and start onboarding uh, European users uh, onto that license. Uh, then uh, we'll be gradually rolling out some yeah, s small uh, credit products, uh, like credit lines overdrafts. Uh, I can, cannot give you any dates right now. Uh, when it will come to Romania, uh, uh, but we are preparing now the uh, the, the migration to the, the to the banking license from the e-money license that we uh, use now. The, the plan is to do this year, this year. What's your next market? Because you you just and so we're preparing to launch in Australia, uh, US, Singapore, uh, and Japan. So that, these are the uh, priorities. Should, for example, Romanian authorities be concerned that some of the Revolut users here in Romania are using the app to avoid paying some taxes? The general concern of these authorities to make sure that the citizens pay the tax, right? Uh, through certain processes, education, etc. Right? Uh, we, as a company, uh, we don't facilitate uh, such activity. Uh, Anything uh, like tax, tax evasion uh, is, is illegal, and we, uh, f from our side, we uh, don't support this activity. Uh, but we are not the ones who are responsible for individual tax applications. Right? So this is on the individuals to pay their own tax. That's the res res responsibility, the obligation. So from our side, is well, if there is the tax authorities, they suspect someone, or there is an open case, someone uh, uh, evading tax, right? Not paying their, uh, not fulfilling their tax obligations, then they have, we cooperate with them in such cases. I'm not aware of such cases, but that's how it would normally work. We would cooperate with uh, authorities. Let's talk a bit about uh, about plans. What is actually your plan for for the next year for Revolut, from the business point of view, mm -hmm. and also from the tech point of view? Is are there any changes to come on the platform? 
So, uh, yeah, there are quite a few things. Uh, so I mentioned ex uh, our international expansion. So this is uh, our uh, big priority for this year, international expansion and uh, activation of banking license. Uh, so like those are big projects. Uh, they require a lot of efforts, uh, due diligence. Uh, from business perspective and that will enable uh, a lot of growth, new, uh, new f ch channels for, for money f flows. Uh, imagine it's between, so I, I call this uh, year, triple year, a year for Revolut because we're going to be launching in Asia uh, and America and Australia uh, in, in those three uh, regions and Enabling those regions plus Europe will allow people between all those uh, regions to transact instantly uh, and, and for free. On tech side, uh, we're, we're going to have some uh, new product launches as well, like stock markets, uh, free, free, uh, sorry, free stock trading. Uh, there'll be some uh, f developments in in business account uh, area as well. Some of those products will be launch already in summer, uh, Google Pay, uh, Apple Pay, uh, finally. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's, it's been quite a tough time because we promised Apple Pay some time ago and, and it was still coming, coming. People kept asking, so finally yeah, it's going to be out this summer. There will be upgrade uh, to the app, uh, quite significant upgrade to the app. Uh, because it's becoming more complex, there'll be uh, f new functionality, new products, uh, there'll be a uh, new uh, version of uh, analytics and budgeting uh, functionality that allows you to manage uh, your finance better, uh, new vaults where you put money aside, where you will be able to, to share those vaults uh, with, uh, with friends. For instance, when, for situations like you maybe putting money together f for, for something or you're going as a group on a trip somewhere and you're putting money together so you could use this vault where you collect money from everyone and then you, uh, maybe one who manages this account does all the expenses. Is there an IPO coming, for example, or are you interested in... Not ready? coming yet. <laughs> okay. IPO not coming yet. <laughs> okay. Are you interested in uh, raising more money? Uh, not not at the moment. Uh, there's always uh, interest from investors, uh, but we're, we're not raising yet. I wanted to ask you, how would you encourage a uh, fintech startup? here in Romania, what should you do to... to uh, fintech, I mean, it, it, fintech should, should be solving specific problems, right? One, one of the things, for instance, you mentioned trust, right? Uh, what we do and the, the plans, again, that's what I hear from the team here locally, uh, to to do the, what you said, there's a problem with education, people don't understand it, etc. They're used to using cash, the education is a big part. But, so it's important to, we, we have a solution, right? People, important people understand that solution. Like the, with Revolut you get full control of how you manage your payments, how you manage your cards.